so the plan for today is we're going to try and open up the whole of the rest of the chasm. So obviously we did dangerous stuff. We've opened up most of the map and we saw the new world boss, but we didn't actually go anywhere into that area. If we look at the map, you can see we've still got all of this. I've not seen this yet. And I'm pretty sure we can go in there. So that's what we're going to be trying to get today. So let's go in our journal. We want to go to this one. I think this is it, right? Yes. Examine the dark fog in front of you. So we looked at this with danger of last time, but we didn't actually see what it was. Do we just walk into it? Ah, it's almost like the thing is rejecting us. We can't go through. What do you mean? Look for clues near the fog. Okay. Staff Sergeant Anton has discovered a large bell to the southeast. Uh, the rock walls have their script all over it. This is very similar to the large bell that capt the, the captain discovered in the ruins to the northwest. Perhaps. We dispatched Schneezed Haver, uh, Havener and Fade Dacre to ring the two bells in their respective corners. Uh, as the terrifying tolls reverberated through the stones, the black fog dissipated. What a strange phenomena. It's almost like the bells were announcing someone's arrival. Ten were lost. Two vanguard squads took immense damage. The captain ordered a retreat. A simple map falls out of the diary. The map marks the two bells in the northwest and the southeast. With two ominous skulls to go with them. <gasps> Oh, so that opened up this part. Wow, I thought that was going to do the whole thing at once, but never mind. Oh, that looks so cool on the map. Ring the two bells on either side of the ruin. Boom. Oh, that's a big beefy boy. Rosie. Queen, let's go. Oh my God, look how many bars we have on our lantern now. I just realized because we upgraded it a bunch. Whoa, what is this? Is this a door? This looks like... Oh, no, more of you guys. I don't want to fight you guys after last time. I'm just going to go past you, okay? <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab this now. Whoa, there's even more buildings in here. Oh, hello Dude, there. No, 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 no. Okay, we don't have to fight you. Ow! <laughs> Hello, you lot. Yeah. I'm not going to fight you either because I, I don't have the mental capacity. I don't have the time. I don't have the emotional strength. I don't want to do it. I just don't. Here we go. All right, I'm going up. See you later. Come on, little Sealy dude. Where are we going? Thank Barbados. Wait a minute. <laughs> this place. Whoa, the bell's been covered in dark mud. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm horrible. I'm the worst. I know. I get it. I get it, but I have to do this. I'm sorry. I just feel bad fighting the Abyss now. I just feel bad for them. I don't want to fight them. I don't want to fight anyone. <laughs> I am now a pacifist, chat. Starting now. Oh. Ah. Oh, wait. We need to recharge completely. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> oh, I messed up. Oh, no. Can I recharge? Hello? Why is the world dark now? Wait, I can hit it? Oh, oh, chat, you big brains. Yes. If I do it here, is that? Yeah. Oh, I just said I'm a pacifist. I can't fight you now. Yeah. There we go. Okay, no more fighting. Bong. Whoa, the sound is ultra spooky. Let's get out of here. I mean, if you live in London. Now, let's go get the other bell. I have no idea where I'm going. What? Where even am I? I'm so lost. Aha! I knew it. Secrets. Oh, God, that doesn't look good. You're not supposed to be there yet. I'm going to jump down anyway. Oh, God, this goes far down. The glowing narrows. But my, my objective's up there. What is that? Two-legged one, do not waste daylight. What? Uh, uh. Sarah, man. Uh, who? Zamaran. Zamaran? What, what, what is this? Whoa. I want to come down here anyway, so we're going to come back for that. I did not expect that. What is that? Yeah, we, we've not been here yet. Whoa. Careful on the edge there, friend. Wow. Dude, this place is massive. How big is the chasm? It's so big. There's another one of these as well. 
I still don't know what these are. Okay, we got the waypoint. Hi, bud! Alright, 1v1 me. On rust. No scopes only. Ah! He's down. There's another door here. At least that's what it looks like. Okay, CD, you gonna take me up? Oh, there's two CDs. Can I? I can get rid of that, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to keep them on the... Oh, I'm not following them. They're going in circles. Okay. You go to that one. You go to that one, friend. Go. Yeah. Go on, buddy. That's my king. Look at him go. All right. Now I go to this one. Woo! Precious chest. Let's go. And a wind thing. Okay, good. That takes us up. You're the Sealy I meant to follow. Okay. Go, friend. We'll do this together. Yes. Okay, we've come down the hole. Oh, okay. I'll do you later. Bye. The bar marked on the map should be around here. Let's take out this monster first. No! What are you doing? You don't want to get in this crossfire? This ain't your fight, dude. This ain't your fight. There we go. And we got a chest. There's the bell. Here we go. Bong! I don't know what we're doing. Again, why do we do things when we don't know what the consequence is going to be? Back down to here. Back where we started. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oh, God! Oh, no! The cutscene stopped me from deploying my shoe! That wasn't my fault! Agna! Egil! Okay, guys, hello. No! I'm getting bullied! My research has failed. Okay. I will admit, I didn't bring the best team for that. <laughs> but it's okay. We did it. Curious Cube. Hi. Did you watch that happen? I hope you didn't, because that was embarrassing. <laughs> it's great to see that you're all right. What, what were those two creatures? I've never seen anyone or anything like that. <laughs> all right, all right. There's no need to be so strict. I won't risk uh, provoking them, I know. How did you get in front of us? That's a good point. Wait, didn't you go back to help the others come down here? We came through a hidden mine on the western side that just so happens to let us get around the areas infected with the black matter and the strange creatures below. <laughs> uh, are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. That road was pretty hard to find and no mistake. It might have been some sort of path the treasure hoarders carved um, out en route to their loot stashes. But I can't imagine them wanting to come this far down either. Well, our campsite isn't too far away. Let's talk as we go, shall we? So they've got a new campsite down here. And it looks like it's off the, off the grid. So we're going to get a new map, hopefully. Oh, this goes here. So we are going to go down now. <laughs> oh, hello there. Uh, is there something you need? You're coughing away. Are you sure you're okay? I'm all right, really. The air down here is just kind of thin. It doesn't sit too well with me. I don't trust you. Ah, yes. This is the map I drew earlier. <laughs> uh, well, that feels better. Uh, you better rest up. Don't go running around all over the place now. Speaking of maps, uh, we've got one for you as well. It's a map of the two strange bells. Seems like it's something the dastardly Fatui left behind. Thank you. I'll incorporate this new location into my map. Wait a moment. Did you say Fatui? They've tunneled into this place as well. Certainly looks like it. it. Looks like we've got to be even more careful while exploring the chasm. Speaking of which, we found this. You've been around here more, uh, Cheong. So you're prob you'll probably know what this is used for, right? This? I think I found a gate which has this symbol similar to this one on here, deeper down. <coughs> um, sorry. If I remember correctly, you could hear the wind behind that gate. I'm quite sure that there should be a large open space behind it for us to explore. I wonder what relationship this thing has with that gate. It might be a key of some sort. <coughs> Cheong's right. This is this device is used to unlock the gate. Oh, it's K-Dive. Wow, where did you come from? A uh, hello before joining the conversation might be nice. <laughs> Look at Aether's face. I once looked into similar devices and just with luck might have it, the device in your hands is an exact match to the ones in my research lab. Unfortunately, neither alchemy nor basic mechanics can help us understand the energy held within these devices, nor can they explain the principles behind their ability to unlock and lock gates. Research lab? Aren't you a paleontologist? We at Murata take a rather dim view of those who re rely purely on theory. That said, we often have to work with those blockheads from Spantamad all the same. Okay. <sighs> well, that's all I can tell you. There isn't much else to be said with regards to the academia. Oh, I have a pillow right here. You can keep talking. <laughs> you can keep going. Not that we'll understand anything, of course. Oh, I'll stop. I'll stop. I didn't form this exploration team to divulge all of our secrets or something. Whatever the case, uh, if we're able to find that gate that Cheong spoke of, 
will be able to use this strange device to open it. Let's go together then, shall we? Ever since you shared this new map with me, I've been left with this last section unmapped. I just thought that we could... <coughs> Sorry. Um, you know, we could get it all done in one go. <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry. <coughs> she is not okay. We can leave the map thing aside for now. Have you had close contact with that black muddy stuff at any point? Oh, I'm fine. The environment's just not sitting too well with me, you know? I mean, it's nothing uh, for a true adventurer. <coughs> nothing? Hey, you'd better wake up, you hear? You're the only person, I repeat, the only person in the whole team who has shown such serious and negative reactions during this process. We have to send you up to the surface to rest. If we go now, there's still some time. Alright, alright. Don't look at me like that. Do whatever you want. It's not as if you're, I'm your parent or something. Will you really be fine? K-Dive, do you mind explaining? I'm telling you this out of my, the goodness of my heart. Don't take it for a reason to violate the, uh, the strictures of the academia. I'm sorry. I cannot divulge in the details, but Cheong has to get some distance from the thing under the chasm. No, she has to leave the chasm itself. Wait, what? Come on, you're talking in riddles. Are you just annoyed that uh, Cheong's not well or something? She is very sick, yes, and if no one takes it more seriously, it really will be too late. Alright, please stop it. <laughs> I joined this team on my own accord. I'm not going to change decisions based on what others say. Mm, yes, and I suppose that as an adventurer, your primary concern is the remuneration. If you're willing to leave, I'll make sure you're compensated. I'll be quite, it'll be quite the generous package. The representatives from Leowell will understand as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'll have to excuse myself for now. The area Abraxos cleared out needs remapping. I shan't waste my time any further. Right, Abraxos. I'll head to the gate that I mentioned before later. If that's where you're headed as well, we can meet up there. Ha, oh, this kid. Not to be reasoned with at all. You're being too harsh. No, he's not! No! He's not being too harsh! Exactly. We're, uh, you were so curt, you didn't even explain anything either. There's any wonder you ticked her off. I just didn't expect that she would have literally no concern for her life at all. You know what? Forget it. She can do what she wants. And then she'll regret it later and ask for help. That's how young people are. They always get to take a hit or two before they learn. What exactly is wrong with her anyway? What we're facing is, in essence, very similar to the anomalies on Dragonspine. In the sense that their source is something alien to this world we, uh, we know. Dude, the Academia know something! This is why we got you on the team, since you're able to manipulate the elements without using a vision. For normal people like us who neither have visions nor can manipulate the elements, these anomalies are malignant, <laughs> even fatal. Those who have close contact with the source of the anomalies may begin to lose touch with the world. Some will weaken swiftly and even... So, she's in trouble! Yes! Well done! <laughs> That's as much as I can say. Wait, then what are we supposed to do? Should we chase after her? It's her choice. But we can't just sit here and watch. We should at least try. Well, don't let me delay you either. I'll leave it to you on your own business. There are still a great many secrets for us to discover down here. And if you meet her, please take care of her on behalf of the rest of us. Oh! Okay, we still haven't got all of it. There's still a little bit left. Dude! Glowing narrows. That was what was down below, right? That's where we jumped. Here we go! Oh my- I can't believe it goes even lower. It can't go lower than this, surely. I mean, if it's gone this far down, yes, it can. I'm sure it can. Okay, we're back down where the giant big glowing mushroom is. Do I want to go and speak to the mushroom first? Whoa! Look at this! Wow! I'm like a moth to a lamp. <gasps> there is a big chest up there! Hello? How curious. This two-legged hatchling makes no use for their feet. Two-legged hatchling? Huh, Paimon's got a name, and it looks like someone's gonna get themselves a silly- the silliest nickname in the world ever. Let Paimon think. You know what? We're gonna call you Sheesh! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Sheesh room? Also, look at this glowing powder in the air. They're like mushroom spores. Paimon wonders if they're the reason why we could hear this mushroom talking. Uh, Zamoran knows many legged ones who make no use of their feet, yet Zamoran not- uh, knows not any Paimon. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> That's natural, because Paimon is one of a kind. Zamoran knows the two-legged one over there. How strangely familiar. Oh? Do you know Shishroom? No, I don't. I'm guessing our sibling? Zamoran smells the heat of the golden sand and the dampness of the rock within the rainforest. That's the smell 
of Samarin's hometown. Then how did you get down here? Hot sand and the rainforest? Do you mean Sumeru? We did just talk to Sumeru, a Sumeru scholar at the camp. Although Samaran has been away for its hometown for, for long. Samaran makes no mistakes. A breakfast the two-legged. Fate has brought you here. Samaran has a favor to ask. Samaran has dwelled here for many a year and found it a cozy and comfy home. Yet foul energy is growing lately. Samaran has been drained of strength, fending off the evil, and has ended up in this state. Samaran must seek help from the two-legged. Shishroom does look a little under the weather. Hmm, oh right, Traveler, can we can lend the energy of the Ajuvan. Maybe that'll make it feel better. Oh, you wanna recharge, bro? Whoa, he's glowing! Hail Abraxos! Hail Paimon! Thanks to Abraxos, and thanks to Paimon also. Samaran's lifelight is rekindled. But do not let your guard down yet. Zamoran knows that the foul energy is not yet eradicated. It should strike back at any time. Oh, it could strike back at any time. Huh? Well, then what do we do? Whoa! Where did all this black mud come from? It's the foul energy that Shishroom talked about. Uh, a two! Okay, there's one. Hail Abraxos! Hail Paimon! No one answered Shishroom's call for help. The many-legged and four-legged paid no heed. Only the wise would answer. Paimon proved to be one with wisdom, and Abraxos did too. You two, wisest of the two-legged, shall receive uh, Zamoran's gratitude. Ha! Huh. Paimon the wise is not to be taken lightly. It was no trouble. Given time, Abraxos and Paimon will rise to become as great as Zamoran and its kin. This Zamoran knows for sure. Hold on, what's that supposed to mean? The many-legged are inferior to the four-legged, and the four-legged are inferior to the two-legged. So naturally, the two-legged are inferior to the legless. But what Abraxas and Paimon lack by nature, you can make up through hard work. You might even be able to change the course of fate one day. Wow, this glowing mushroom's talking super big. Paimon wonders if glowing mushrooms make good cooking ingredients. For chicken mushroom skewer, surely beautiful mushrooms lie. This one could be poisonous. A glutton, uh, this Paimon is. A bite on the mushroom today, another bite tomorrow, and a hundred days later there shall be no Paimon left in Paimon, but only mushrooms. Uh, Shishroom's starting to talk all creepy. You fail to see the humor in that. A shame. That wasn't funny. Shishroom is cleared of foul energy, yet its kin still suffer. Zamoran lacks the strength now to shelter the weak like it once did. Please, Abraxos, Zamoran begs of you, exercise your benevolence and save the defenseless. Do you mean there are more ill mushrooms? Traveler, let's help them, shall we? Now that we're here, as long as the, it's not one big detour, then let's be off. Hello, big boy. I know, you're big and scary. I know, I know. Oh! Okay, we're gonna grab the waypoint. Come on, buddy, look, we can talk about this. We don't need to do this. Dude! Right, you know what? You've asked for it now. I gave you a chance. I gave you a chance to run, and you didn't take it. Now, this is what happens. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Who are you? Hold up. Ow. <coughs> Wait, stop. What are you doing? Why are you here? And why are you attacking me? You attacked me. You're the one to talk. We saw you sneaking around. Since you're the bad guy here, why don't you explain yourself first? My name is Katarina Schnez. Oh, she's the one from the bell. Oh, my name is the most I can divulge. My apologies. Uh, we just wanted to know what's happening. Sorry, that's really all I can disclose. What are the Fatui doing here? That's classified. Come on, bad guys do have a thing for being secretive. You're right, we're the bad guys and that's what we do. Alright, time's up for the question and answers session. We've got company. They're just bubble buddies! I'm gonna cleanse this mushroom, okay? They're so cute though, I don't want to fight them! I am now a pacifist, chap. Starting now. Thank you for not stabbing me in the back. The feeling's mutual. Pfft. Although I don't know where you got uh, that impression. Uh, this isn't a romantic place to try hitting on me. <laughs> Come to my hideout if you wish to talk. She leaves. All right, she shroom. What you got? I've cured your children. If she shroom may be so bold, you two legs do have a saying. A helping hand must see things th to the end. You mean even more errand running? Amongst two legs, you two are indeed deserve the title of the wise. Please take this, the blessing of wisdom. I just have that now, chat. Whoa, what's this? It looks kind of suspicious, actually. Shishroom can smell the lingering scent of a foul energy in the air, but cannot tell where the source lies. Follow the water and you shall find it. 
You merely need to use the blessing of wisdom on the source. Traveler and Shishroom's kin can take care of the rest. Why don't you deal with it yourself? Well, he can't exactly move. You are far more humorous than Paimon. <laughs> Shishroom does not have legs, whereas you do. As one of the legless, Shishroom shan't meddle too much with the matters of the two legs. What's more, Shishroom has, great, has a greater duty to perform. What? Shishroom has spent uh, too much strength. It was a pleasant conversation with you two, but Shishroom must rest now and gather the strength to fend off evil and provide a shelter for its kin to prosper. Abraxas and Paimon, uh, may you be blessed on your journey ahead. Hey, Shishroom, wake up! Looks like Shishroom has gone to sleep. I have wisdom in a jar? What if I, like, smash it over my head? Would that give me, like, all the wisdom? Venti, you are just the best. Whoa! Oh, there it is. We found it. You know Time what? For take -off. There we go. Use wisdom. A mushroom grows out of the, the fissure. Oh! Oh, mighty mushroom. I have returned, mighty mushroom. What great wisdom do you bestow upon me? Hey, Shishroom, we're back. We've run out of your, uh, what do you call it? Your blessing of wisdom. But we've managed to block the fissures. Now the problem has been solved. Hail Abraxos, hail Paimon. May no regrets linger in the night begone. May all shallow fade ere the dawn to come. Seems Shishroom has fallen asleep again. Let's not disturb it. Oh, we did it! Oh, here it is. <coughs> hey, Abraxos, you're here. <coughs> uh, okay, we found you. <coughs> What's wrong? You don't look so good. Did I annoy you in some way? You know, Paimon's having trouble telling who looks worse between the two of you. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. You need to get some more rest. You know, everyone's actually really concerned about you. Please don't care so little about your own safety. I, of course I know they're worried, but it's like I said before. This is what an adventurer's life should be like. What, death? No adventurer in this world would bulk in the face of danger. And I have no wish to lie in bed in my dotage. Withered by age, relying on others to eat or even get myself to the toilet. If the alternative is stability and boredom, I'd choose danger any day. I'd rather lay my life down than lie in some cushy bed waiting to, for the time to claim me. I belong here. I know it. A comfy job with the ministry. That's not for me. K-Dive's Mora, it doesn't own me. And as opposed to those lucky few who have visions... Adventure, exploration, challenge, these are things that can only be truly experienced by normal people like us. So when it comes down to it, it's all about you, huh? Haven't you spared a single thought for others? I've said it before, this is my own personal business. It's got nothing to do with anyone else. I'm sorry that they might have felt bad about the matter, but must you really go deeper into such dangerous places? Yes, I mean, no. I mean, yes. I just, I don't want to be forgotten. At least this way, I'll leave some maps behind and I'll have borne witness to the sight of the chasm. And I would have accomplished all of this stepping into the realm of the forbidden as a normal human being. But it's going to be the last thing you do. And the trail of the Yaksha who defended Liyue in the legends might be behind this gate. If I could reach that place. Oh. I don't know if I can make it there, but I wish I could get closer to these unknown places. Perhaps we might truly find the reason for... The anomalies here in the chasm. Everyone needs a rest, ordinary or not. There may be worse things behind that gate. We're all worried about you. Please don't take such poor care of yourself. What you need to do right now is regain your strength. Please go back to the camp and take a rest. Yep, that's right. You should totally get some more rest. The road ahead is still pretty dangerous. You can just wait for us to finish clearing the obstacles ahead before following after. It won't be too late. Anyway, uh, someone needs to record down what we've seen, right? If no one records the stuff, no one will remember it after all. That's a good point. I get it. I'll go back if you insist. But please, you keep your wits about you as well. We will. Stay safe on your way back now. Yeah, good luck climbing back up that hole. <sighs> Paimon has no idea if she really heard a word we just said. Oh, here we go. Fatui Action Log Part 4. An explosion has occurred. Cause unknown. The, the Makosh device, or Makosh device, which should have theoretically been able to clear the abyssal corruption from this place, has overloaded and been destroyed. The black pollutant on the main fragment has begun to regenerate. We need to sum up what we've learned from thus far. One or several hard strikes aimed at key stress points on the main fragment 
and cause the black matter to retreat. Our scouting parties have discovered human activity in different locations. Whether they're human or some other creature is unclear, but perhaps they might even be the culprits behind the black matter propagation. So the Fatui are trying to stop the black matter. Look at the walls, they're very cubic. It's really similar to the unknown god. Oh, you're right! Oh, you are right! This is half Dan. At least it's half Dan's model. Rethel? Why do you tarry in this place, Trav? Oh, oh my god, there's only death. Well, then why are you fighting me? So he's one of the, the captains, I guess, like half Dan. He's one of the captains. That is so sick, though, dude. I don't know. I don't want to kill him, though, because we know they're not bad. And he, he spoke to me. Void emptiness. Everything is void. Orb of the blue depths. Yeah, look at the walls. It's all QB. Yeah, like the unknown god, you're right. What is this? What is that? This doesn't look like a natural cave. It looks like something huge cut right through this place instead. Huh, actually, rammed right through might be more accurate. You know, Traveler... Do you, don't you think that this floating thing looks rather familiar? Doesn't it resemble what we saw on the top of Dragon Spine back then? It does! Their smell or aura is pretty similar. Whatever it is, it's really spooky. What have you discovered, Paimon? Whatever it is, it's pretty creepy. You know, doesn't that stone tablet look kind of new to you? It doesn't look like it fits with the ruins around it at all. Although the inscription cannot be understood per se, a little observation reveals that the engraving is a map of the surrounding area and that the other pictures have something to do with the floating crystal. Hmm, so the big crystals have five weird devices around it. And these lines are connected to the crystal. Paimon can't read this. Why is this diagram so messy? Looks like we need to activate those five devices. Then uh, someone needs to hit the crystal or something and then the black spots will disappear. I guess they just forgot to draw those splotches. After that, wait a minute, why did they draw this big worm? Hmm, seems this stone tablet is telling us to beware of the super big worm. So hitting on the crystal will awaken some kind of giant creature? No! That sounds a lot easier to get, but still, we've got to try before we know for sure. Also, Abraxos, look at the purplish, blackish stuff. It's all over that big crystal. Looks pretty similar to the dark mud that we encountered before, too. Also, Abraxos, look at that purple blackish stuff. It's all over that big crystal. Looks pretty similar to the dark mud we've encountered before, too. Looks exactly as depicted on the stone tablet. Let's start from activating these devices. Yeah, you're right. A hole. Very fearless of you, Paimon. Well, we're already here, so we might as well do something. <gasps> okay, we've opened everything. Oh, we got the full map! Purify the large crystal. Oh my god, look at that! That is insane! Whoa, just this area is so impressive on such a massive scale. Oh! Okay, we purified one. What? Okay, we need to follow the lines, I guess. That's where we're gonna find where we need to go. So one's down there, and then one is down there. Oh god! Ow before, before the abyss! Why did they use these to corrupt the crystal? Yeah, the ab the abyss is next to it, so the abyss has something to do with it. I know that might be a bit late for me to like realize that, but there we go. Very good. Oh, there's so many questions. All right, one more. Okay, boom. Looks so like we've come to the bit where we've got to. S to apply some external force to the crystal. Are you ready? Do we really have to? <laughs> well, we've come this far. Let's just give it a shot like we always do, eh? What will I ever do without you? All right, come on. It's a big crystal. Don't you want to just poke it? I guess I do want to poke it. I guess I do want to poke it. Oh, I don't want to poke it, but I do want to poke it. I want to see what happens. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's you. You're the big snake. Oh, you're a big snake. Okay. Right. We fought you guys. You're 
are huge! Are you as big as the normal one? You don't seem it. You seem a lot bigger. You seem a lot bigger. Like, a lot bigger. Like, just look. Okay, you might not be able to, like, see how big it is. But look how small we are. We are tiny. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, there goes one. No. And there goes two. I missed. Okay, well, that wasn't very helpful of me, was it? Ah! Ow, dude. We can do this. Wait. Here we go. Rosie becomes Shao. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I've become. I've become big friend. Brace yourself. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, come on. It drains my thing when I go near it, though. So what am I supposed to? Oh. Here we go. Wait. What? You can't run. Okay. What do I get more though? I don't. I can't get more. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. He came out on top of it. Or under it. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Very good. Whoa. I can't get rid of it. I don't have any more things. Alright, fine. You know what? Do it. You won't. Why is it not taking damage? We can't hurt it at all. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. What do you mean? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Uh-oh. Hi. <gasps> it's you! Oh my god, is she going to drop it on it? Yo, let's go! Who are you, though? Queen? Okay. Okay, I, I know Dragon Spines one did that as well. Is it over? It feels all kind of like a dream. Looks like that thing up there has gone back to normal. The air feels less heavy too. Hmm, even if we've reached the bottom of the chasm and have defeated the creature down here somehow. But it doesn't feel like we've answered any questions. In fact, we've got more questions now than we did before. Yeah. Like, for example, what was the thing above us? Why did a giant serpent come roaring out? And where did the dark mud and the strange monsters come from? The monsters that followed the dark mud here seems to be eating at that big crystal. And Cheong mentioned that a Yaksha was once was here once. Oh, this is all way too many questions for Paimon. Looks like the chasm still has many secrets that are yet to be discovered. Yeah, no wonder adventurers like Cheong are so, uh, so committed to exploring this place. But things should quieten down a bit now that we've cleared this big thing up, right? Looks like there's a long way off before the mines can reopen. But our big exploration mission seems complete. Uh, we'll worry about the other stuff in the future. Oh yeah, one more thing. It feels like someone helped us out during that fight with that big snake. Did you hear this shoom sound in the fight? <laughs> sort of. Uh, well, never mind. I, uh, when we head back, we can ask uh, Cheong if we saw any strangers. Wow, yeah, so this is literally the same as the one in Dragonspine. I want to know who that is! They dress a lot like Dainsleth. It reminds me of, like, a female version of Dainsleth. Hey, luxurious chest. Great. What a find. I know! Great, you're back. There have been several earthquakes ever since you went through that gate. We don't know what's going on down there, but we're glad to see that you're both okay. Well, you don't look too bad yourself. Looks like the rest helped, eh? How are things on your end? I've followed your advice and rested here all this while. I'm feeling a whole lot better now. Was all this due to the thing behind the gate? I didn't go in there, but I could feel some strange pulse within. Something amazing must have been back there. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> I grew up listening to the tales of the Yakshas, and some of my seniors used to say that one of them was sealed inside the chasm and slumbered to this day. Well, we didn't meet this Yaksha you speak of. 
there was a huge floating crystal in there. So the crystal in the upper levels did fly towards it. A fragment decided to be part of the hole once again. So that's the key to solving the mystery of the chasm. I might go and see it for myself later. <coughs> Thank you. So as for that dark mud, <laughs> Sorry, it hasn't been completely cleared out yet. Yup, now that we've removed the taint from the large crystal, that sticky mud should be back underground in no time. I understand. <laughs> I'll inform the other team members. It seems that our exploration of the chasm has met with some initial success. This is way stronger than the time Chiaoing village. Uh, oh, it's the most famous tea house in all of Liyue. Top-notch scenery, top-notch tea. Uh, you haven't heard of it? Well, not that I like the place very much, even if it's my second home after Mingyun Village. Uh, I know every last creek and tree in that place like the back of my hand. I guess I would have remembered the place and the people more fondly if it wasn't for that disagreement I had with that one commission giver while on a map making assignment. Eh, whatever, no point in talking about it now. Uh, and well, I say that I don't like the place, but if I do achieve something great this time, it would be good to go back there to rest. The old man's tea is truly unforgettable. It's a truly unforgettable experience after all. But over to more pleasant thoughts, the next time I'm back home, I'll be a famous adventurer having tea with an old man, you know? Uh, I do hope you'll be there to see it. Here, yeah, there I go again, talking about the unrealistic stuff. Well, we could use this opportunity to become an official exploratory team uh, under the Ministry of Civil Affairs, but I don't think we'll be going anywhere anytime soon. After all, it was due to your spelunking that we were able to avoid the perils of the path, such that no one was injured or lost, and that our material losses provided uh, negligible. I think that we might stay here for a while, yet help the Ministry staff watch over the underground anomalies and maintain uh, the exploration facilities. Did you encounter any strangers after we left? What? Hmm. Well, I didn't see anyone on the way back, and I fell asleep pretty quickly once I got back to the camp, so I didn't see anyone else pass by. What's wrong? What's with the sudden question? Uh, never mind, it's nothing. <laughs> well, if you're leaving, don't forget to say hi to Mooning as well. <laughs> Tell him that I'm going to be promoted. Who knows who's going to be the boss of who before long, eh? Fair enough. Report back to Mooning. Mooning, my what friend, talk to me. You're back, Abraxos. How do things go? There is good news to be had from the underground, I hope. You tell Mooning everything. Aha, see what I told you? The exploration team was a reliable lot and the expedition was bound to be fruitful. I have received the ore samples and data that K-Dive and Jin Wu have gathered. The unknown matter is in full retreat and the geologist shifts have uh, largely ceased. It's a good omen indeed. Thanks to your help, the Millilith have also expressed no objections to our plans for future exploration and restoration. In fact, they should be getting ready to descend into the mines themselves. Who was the one that was trying their best to prevent us from going down there previously? huh? Uh, <laughs> come on now. There's no need to be so straight about such things. I mean, I will pay you, and of course the Chasm Exploration Team will become an official part of the Huishan Hall from this day forth. You need to work on your ability to change the topic! That's right, but since there's more to be had, we'll forgive you this time. Thank you. Uh, and you know, I did get a real earful of, uh, from the higher-ups myself for letting you go down there without such as a report uh, back to the headquarters. The higher-ups? Yeah, and who would better come down here themselves to give you an earful anyway? You might not believe me, but it was the Yu Hang herself. She seemed quite concerned about your safety. So Kuching came down here? Aww. Uh, seriously? So, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> uh, so Kuching's been keeping an eye on us this the whole time. But the person we met down there didn't look anything like her. You actually saw that person clearly? Wait, what? You, you did see someone! Why did you make it sound like you didn't? You met someone else down there? Are you certain that this wasn't a treasure hoarder or a fatus? Hmm, it's certainly worth recording, but don't worry, the Millilith will help you look into it. Ah uh, yes, Abraxos, since I'm currently in charge of the exploration team's materials, uh, could I also ask how things are with them at the moment? She isn't looking so good. That's right. Yeah, she's not. Still down in the mines and she's not in the best of conditions. Hmm. Jin Wu did mention a condition to me. I'll send a report recommending that the ministry send a uh, medical team down. With any luck, she'll be patient and stay out of the hazard zones. Uh, Clitifo joined up, but he was a treasure hoarder previously. Will things really be okay? Oh, him? We all know him. He's not a bad person by nature. If you were able to trust him, Abraxos, I don't think we'd gainsay you. Still, I think that he'll have to wait for a while before he can be welcomed into any official capacity. Let's just call it a probation period, shall we? About K-Dive? Oh, that fellow's from Sumeru. Well, I won't lie to you. You can think of him as sort of a proxy. On the surface, he seems to be an organizer and overall in charge, but in truth, he even answers to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Of course, this comes with some academic agreement that the Chi Sing uh, have with the academia. The people upstairs went back and forth with the academia for a while over this, and I'm not at liberty to say more in any case. 
Whatever the case, a researcher from overseas is not exactly someone we would normally use, but since he's willing to pay for the team from his own pocket, I suppose we have little reason to refuse his help. The ministry will send more of their people down there. I suppose we've got to trouble our dedicated professional to delve into the perilous depths for us again. Your dedicated professional? <coughs> anyway, thanks for your help. You're always welcome here at the chasm. Yes, indeed. And there you go again, changing the topic suddenly. Okay, okay, let's not get too hot and bothered about it. In any case, the Ministry thanks you for your services and will not stand in your way of your activities within the chasm any further. Yeah! There we go! We did it! Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you as always. I will see you guys next time! Goodbye, my friends!